Good evening. Thank you guys for coming out. This is like a spring evening in Corvallis that uh, would be nice to be outside, but we'll try to make this um, beneficial for you tonight. My name is Steve Amsbury. Uh, we have a hospital, West Hills Animal Hospital, out by the fairgrounds. We're a companion animal practice, and uh, we do a lot of preventive care. And part of our umbrella under preventive care is dealing with uh, excess weight in pets. And we know that there's this epidemic in the U.S. in people. And we also know that pets since the year 2004 have increased their obesity issue by 40%. So this is a, it is a nutritional disease. And, and uh, kind of want to touch upon that, answer your guys' questions tonight. Um, it's a pretty fascinating field. It's hard to talk about fat, it's fascinating, but it's pretty amazing what is going on in, in our current um, scientific process of understanding what fat is, how it's beneficial, but also how it can be harmful uh, for our bodies. There are five, five uh, vital signs, and we think of TPR in the medical field, temperature, pulse, respiration. So for decades, that was, those were the three, three main things that you looked at. As, a, as your core. Then we added body condition scoring, nutrition, that aspect of pets because it's a huge, it's the number one nutritional disease in pets and that's obesity. Uh, number five, just an FYI, is pain. So every pet that comes into the hospital is assessed for their pain level because that is something that will affect how they heal up, how they respond, how they're um, general quality of life is. So all these things affect quality of life. So what is it about this uh, fat that's going on? I would say that we had been taught that fat's kind of inert. It just sits here. It's just there. And it's protecting organs from damage if you get a blow to your uh, body or it's, it's just not affecting anything. Uh, except when there's a lot of it, then you start to feel uh, locomotion and those kinds of things change. But I think more important is it is now considered by the American Medical Association as an endocrine organ, the largest endocrine organ in our body. So you know about thyroid glands, you know about adrenal glands kicking out hormones. Uh, fat kicks out leptin, causes leptin to increase, and this is just a, a protein compound and if it goes real high in an overweight dog then it's going to cause a resistance to the benefits of leptin so um, basically it affects the immune system the immune system um, it is affecting inflammatory processes um, chronic inflammatory compounds remain in the body 24-7. I compare this to when you talk to oncologists, they say the number one thing you have to fight in your body is inflammation. And we're starting to find with omega-3 fatty acids, the things that are free radical scavengers, antioxidants, those are the things that are helping us combat the cancer cells that I believe all of us have to some degree, and our immune systems are constantly in, in this little fight that we don't know about. And if we can keep the inflammation down by keeping the fat down, we're keeping our inflammation down. In the long run, we're finding that fat is directly associated with a number of cancers, just as in people. And I believe that the reason for that is the chronic inflammation affects the immune system, suppresses the immune system, and the immune system cannot then fight off these little cancer cells. Some oncologists will say, do whatever you can to stop inflammation in the body, period. And if you can do that, then you start to look at quantity and, and uh, quality of life increasing. 